Hey guys, welcome to another episode of The Vinyl Den, your channel for record collecting by record collectors. I'm Nick. Today, I'm talking about Record Store Day Black Friday. There's a bunch of links down below. Make sure you go check those out. There's links for the Vinyl Den Facebook group, for our merch page, for the Spotify and Apple Music weekly playlist that we put together, and also the Patreon page. Make sure you go check all that out. Of course, if you enjoy the episode, make sure you give me the old thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I release new episodes. So it's that time of year again, time for Record Store Day Black Friday. I did a whole video when the list came out a while back. I did actually two videos where I did deep dives into uh, what's coming out for Record Store Day Black Friday. But today I'm going to tell you the albums that I'm really looking forward to. And uh, one that uh, I was looking forward to that I got taken off the list. And another one that uh, just got added. I will say that there are a lot of releases for Record Store Day Black Friday that... You know, I was kind of back and forth on, and, and I decided to end up taking them off of my list. And uh, I've got, uh, I think, probably eight albums that I'm really looking forward to. And of those eight, there's probably a couple that uh, I probably won't be able to grab. Record Store Day Black Friday is going to be a little different for me than normal. Normally, I'm able to go out there early, go sit in line, whether it's Record Store Day in April or June or whatever it is. And uh, even Record Store Day Black Friday, I would typically get out at, uh, you know, between midnight, one o'clock in the morning sit in line all night, you know, talk about music and all that. But unfortunately I've got to work. I work nights now. And, uh, you know, so I won't be able to get, I, I'm not going to work till seven o'clock in the morning on uh, black Friday. So I'll be able to get to the store until just in time for it to open, but hopefully I'll be able to get at least a majority of the stuff that I'm looking for this, this year. So I'm a big jazz fan. There always tends to be a bunch of great jazz releases for Record Store Day, whether it's regular regular Record Store Day or Record Store Day Black Friday. This year's really no different. You got uh, Charles Mingus. Mingus. This is going to run you. So I got prices for for most of these that uh, I found online. Looks like this one's going to run you about twenty seven bucks. This is a Record Store Day first. If you're unfamiliar, you got Record Store Day first releases, which means. You know, depending on how they sell, if they sell really well, they probably will get reissued down the line. And then there's R RSD exclusives, which are just going to be released on that day and tend to be a little bit more limited. But uh, so this is RSD first. There's 3,500 copies of this. This was uh, re originally released back in 1961. It's been out of print for decades. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I haven't actually listened to this one, but I've read a lot of great reviews on this one. So I'm definitely looking forward to, to picking that one up. This is remastered by uh, Bernie Grunman. So, you know, it's going to sound great. And then uh, there's also Thelonious Monk, the classic quartet. This is also an RSD first. It's going to run you around $27. 3,000 copies of this available. And this is on opaque blue vinyl. And uh, same thing as the Mingus release. It's been like 35 plus years since this uh, Thelonious Monk release has been available on vinyl. So definitely looking forward to both of those releases. You get Goldfinger, Hello Destiny coming out on Black Friday. This is also an RSD first. I will say that most of the stuff I'm looking for this year are all as, are all. Uh, RSD first, which is good for me because if I miss out on picking them up on Record Store Day, hopefully I'll be able to grab them later down the line. But uh, this is an RSD first. There's only 1,500 copies of uh, Hello Destiny being released. This is the 15th anniversary release of this album. It's going to be on gold vinyl. It's going to be about, about 25 bucks, And th I think this is the first time this album has ever actually been available on vinyl. Definitely more of a casual early 2000s fan of uh, Goldfinger's albums, but uh, I'll definitely grab that one if I can, if I can get it for 25 bucks. It's not a bad price. And then you've also got The Monkees, more of The Monkees. This is also an RSD first. There's only 2,000 copies of this going to be available. This is a 55th anniversary mono edition. So uh, I, I think this was original. I think this was released earlier this year. I'm not sure if it was done, if they did the mono version or not, but uh, you know, I'm a, if I'm going to buy a Monkees album, it's definitely going to be this one. It's got all the great Monkees hits on there. Uh, this was number one for 18 weeks back in 1967. So it was it was definitely a huge release. It's currently 37 bucks. So, uh, you know, I think it's pretty close to what the, uh, the standard release of this album was. The last couple of record store days has been some, like, really cool, like, kind of odd old hip-hop that's been released. And then uh, this year's Black Friday is really no different. You got Kid and Play, Too Hype. It's an RSD exclusive. There's only going to be 2,800 copies of this going to be available. It's going to run you 28 bucks. This is uh, Kid and Play's debut album way back from uh, 1988. Uh, it's definitely kind of a Kid and Play. They're kind of one of those fun kind of hip-hop groups in the late 80s, very beginning part of the of the 90s. So 
I'll definitely look forward to grabbing that one. Uh, I think Belle Biv DeVoe was one that uh, the big, like, older hip-hop release for Record Store Day earlier this year, which is a fantastic album. And then you've also got uh, The Doors, Paris Blues coming out. This is an RSD exclusive. But there's going to be 10,000 copies of this going to be available. This is one I'm definitely looking forward to. It's about uh, 25 bucks. I'm a big Doors fan. I have been for, for a really long time. And then this is cool. This is a compilation of live blues tracks that the Doors recorded over the years. And uh, the artwork out for the album is done by Robbie Krieger. So it's uh, definitely a cool release. I, uh, the Doors have released some cool stuff at Record Store Day over the last couple of years. I know they did the uh, the Soft Parade strip a couple of years back where they released the album. They took out all of the horns and everything. It was really kind of a cool kind of release. But uh, So the Doors always do some great stuff, so I'm definitely looking forward to that one. You've also got uh, Smash Mouth, Fushu Mang coming out uh, for Record Store Day Black Friday. This is an RSD exclusive. Going to be 3,000 copies available, so it's a little bit more limited. This is probably one of the releases I'll probably miss out on. This is their debut album from 1997. It's on neon green vinyl. It's going to be about 30 bucks. Uh, but because I'm going to get to the store kind of as the doors open up, I'll probably miss out on that one. So hopefully I'll be able to grab a copy on Discogs maybe a week or so later after the prices kind of come down a little bit. Because I'm sure that's going to be one that uh, sells pretty quickly. And then uh, you've got one of those, these, those there's always kind of one of those quirky kind of releases for Record Store Day that uh, I always find kind of interesting. I'll probably pick this one up just because it's Blink-182 related. But this is Rockabye Baby, Lullaby Renditions of Blink-182. It's an RSD exclusive. Uh, it's only going to be, uh, I think there's 1,825 copies available. So it's really kind of limited, but I'm sure <laughs> no one's probably going to buy this other than me and a couple of other people. It's going to be 26, 26 bucks, so not uh, not terribly priced for one of those kind of goofier albums. I'm sure I probably won't listen to it a whole lot, but it's one of those kind of novelty things that uh, I always tend to grab and pick up on Record Store Day. We'll, we'll see if I grab that one, though. So when I did my Record Store Day Deep Dive uh, video when the list came out, I was really excited for Mr. Big's debut album to come out for Record Store Day. It was supposed to be pretty limited. It was only like 3,000 copies, I think. It's supposed to be an RSD exclusive. Uh, but I just looked on the list, and it's it's off the list now. So I'm assuming that got pushed back, even though I've seen other websites that still have a list of a Record Store Day. If it's not on the Record Store Day master list, I'm assuming it, it's off, which is really unfortunate because I, I think it was going to be a really popular album. It's definitely one that I was looking forward to. But uh, hopefully we'll see that thing pop up you know, for, for Record Store Day next year. I'm, uh, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that are going to be pretty disappointed, but uh, hopefully we'll see that one down the line. And then one that just got added. I, I just saw this uh, the, the, the bands, or the label actually, had it listed on their website. It's not even on. Last time I looked, it wasn't even on the Record Store Day master list yet. But this is uh, Silver Chair, live at the Cabaret Metro. This is a live show from back in 1996. It's got a bunch of you know big, huge tracks off of uh, Frog Snop, their debut album. I'm not sure if this is a RSD exclusive or RSD first. It didn't say in the description at all. There's only 3,000 copies going to be available. This is the first time it's ever been available on vinyl, though it's been re previously released on CD. If you want to grab a copy of it, it, it is out there available. This is going to be on clear and white marbled vinyl. It's a music on vinyl release, so I'm sure it's going to sound fantastic. Music on vinyl has it listed on their website. If you click on the link that's in there, it takes you to a blank page. So I'm not sure if they're in the process of adding it to Record Store Day or what the deal is with that one. There's not a price for this either. But if you go by, you know, typical music on vinyl pricing, it's probably going to be 35, 38, maybe 40 bucks, depending on, uh, you know, if they price that uh, a little bit higher because of uh, it being a Record Store Day release. But uh, that's one that uh, I, I, I hope I, hopefully I can grab because I absolutely love that early period from from Silver Chair. So it's uh, definitely one that I've definitely got on my on my must have list. So that's nine albums that I've got on my Record Store Day Black Friday list. Yeah, I'm sure I'll probably only end up getting maybe five, maybe six of them. I'm sure I'm going to miss out on, on that Smash Mouth release. If the Silver Chair release is an RSD ex exclusive, I'll probably miss out on that one. Also, I'm sure Flippers are going to be buying both of those albums up because I'm sure they'll probably both sell pretty well on the resale market. So, you know, we'll see what we we'll see what I end up grabbing for record store day, but uh, drop me a comment down below, let me know what you guys are in, uh, interested in. There's a big list 
Yeah, I want to say there's just under 200 albums coming out for RSD Black Friday. And uh, it's actually on a Friday. There's some other releases coming out, some non-RSD releases coming out. Uh, so make sure you check out my Tuesday video because I'm going to kind of go over some of those titles. But uh, drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure to give me the old thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. And that's all I got. Until next time, keep on spinning. Peace. Peace.